Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would come and show a quick tip or idea on unmounted or cling stamp storage. Beeline Designs has cling mount stamp so they come with a little package that shows what the image is has the name of the image and then the image itself has this little cling thing and i was finding that especially during my videos i couldn't remember the name of the stamp so i was trying to figure out what's the best way for me to store them so i can find them and remember the names so normally we use these little cling sheets that you can get like on amazon and i'll have a link if you want those and then you just stick them on and they are two-sided but i thought well why not make my own to hold my stamp so here's what i've done so far is i've taken some of the images and cut them apart so i'm going to do that with this one right now i just grab my paper cutter i'm going to go in here and trim off the excess because i don't need the whole header card so now I've got that image trimmed down and then I'll grab this piece and I want to cut the name of the stamp out. So I got the name of the stamp cut out and I've got the name and I think I also want to include the brand name, if you will, which is Beeline Designs. That way when I look at this sheet, I know that all of the stamps on this sheet are beeline designs now i do have one rubber stamp that i don't have the header card and i thought i would show you what i will do so i'm just going to take the stamp and let's ink it up just using archival ink jet black and because this is a big stamp i'm going to stand up so that i can make sure i get good even pressure all right i kind of wobbled it a little bit that that's okay and i went ahead and wrote down the name so i would have it and let's see how I can arrange this. So if I put the tree, maybe something like that. So let me glue these pieces down. Now this sheet is ready for me to take to my laminator. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, hot off the press, so to speak, on my laminator. I am using 100 pound cardstock as my base, and this is a three millimeter hot lamination. Now, if you don't have a laminator, take your sheets after you've got them all ready to your local copy shop and tell them that you want lamination. I do recommend a thicker cardstock for the base. If you don't have like a 100 pound cardstock, put two cardstocks together and that'll make them thicker. So let me go ahead and show you. Now all I'm going to do is just take my stamps and then this will go here. I'll kind of look at it. Okay, that one goes there. I've got the cube. So the cube's going to go one right there. That way I know what the images are when I look at my sheet. And I know where to put them back whenever I am done with them so that I don't misplace them because there's nothing like not being able to find one of your stamps. In fact, the cube up here for the tags, I had misplaced one of them and I was so worried that I had lost it. And I kept looking and kept looking and it had fallen into a little bin that I have here to the side. And I was so glad that I found it. There. So now I've got those stuck on there. And if you look on this side, I have all these great stamps so I can visually look at them and see what I have. Here's what I did some of the others. So I've got the Pinecone Duo and the Starburst Duo, the Bow Duo, Christmas Cat, Cardinal, all of these Christmas stamps. So now I'll be able to look at them and go, oh, I want to use that one. Or, oh, I want to use this one. So now I kind of know what I have for my stamps. Now I store mine flat. I have bins right behind me, so y'all probably can't really see this too well, but I've got these little cubby holes back here, and they fit right in, and I've also found that if I purchase these, they're little cheap drawers that you can pick up, see this one needs to be redone, that you can pick up, and the sheets fit right down inside of them, so find creative ways 
to store your rubber stamps and know what brand they are and what the theme is of them. Well, I hope you like this as a quick idea or tip or tutorial. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Do know that I go live on Mondays when I have internet. This will be funny to those of you who've been following me. <laughs> uh, and I do live on 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time on Mondays where I share how to make junk journals. On Thursdays, I have a live premiere. It's a recorded video that I share that I can sit and chat with y'all while you watch the live video or the recorded video. And then, of course, I have tutorials throughout. Do come back and check out all my videos that I have. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Check out the description box below for my social media connectors, including my Facebook group, The Friendly Junk Journal People. Uh, we have a lot of fun creating junk journals and sharing them in that group. All right, everybody, have a fabulous day. Thanks, bye.